Hello everyone, RingRx here, and today we will be reviewing the soft phone. For those that don't know, a soft phone is something that allows you to make and receive calls through our service via your computer. Today we will walk you through how to access the soft phone, as well as how to use it. First, you will need to log into the RingRx portal. Once logged in, click on where it says My Phone, and from there you will see a blue button that says Soft Phone. Clicking on this will launch another tab in your browser and automatically log you into the soft phone. It is important that if this is the first time you've logged in, your browser will ask you for permission to your microphone. If you do not allow this permission, people will not be able to hear you on phone calls. Once logged in, you can see the status of the soft phone in the top left corner via the colored phone icon. If it's red, it's offline where there's no internet connection, and if it's green, it's online. Placing a call is fairly simple. You can either type a phone number here in this field, or you can highlight over one of your colleagues and click the phone icon. Go to go ahead and place a call. Thank you. Once that call is active, you can actually see the status of the call here on the right. If you want to end the call, simply press the end call button. Press the pause button here to hold the call. You can also transfer the call or press this to open up the dial pad. The dial pad would be needed in the event that you're calling any sort of call tree menu or something to that effect where you need to press digits to, in order to respond with it. In this case, let's go ahead and transfer this call. When transferring, you'll be prompted up with the dial pad again. I can either type in somebody's extension or I can type in an entire phone number if I'd like. Once you're done, you press the little call button and then it will transfer the call. Let's go ahead and end that call and talk about some of the other functionality within the soft phone. On the right hand side here, you'll see this little icon. This indicates DND. &D. Right now it is currently in a gray state. That means that the soft phone is not in do not disturb. If you click on that, you will stop receiving calls. Over here, you have the volume controls, specifically your microphone and speaker. So if you want to turn them up or down, you can just grab the little slider and adjust it as such. Same thing with the microphone, you just click on that to turn it on or off. On the left-hand side here, you have a breakdown of all the different people within your organization, as well as any other things like groups or park orbits. In this case, if you want somebody to appear towards the top of the list, you can simply click the little star icon and it will move them towards the top of the list. Notice as I unclick the star next to Park Orbit, unclick the one for Dr. Lady, and then click it again for Dr. Lady, she stays at the top. This can also be used here to monitor somebody's status. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and make a call from Dr. Lady. And you'll actually see here that I can see she's on a phone call and who she's on a call with. This is very helpful so that you know when somebody is busy and you don't interrupt what they're doing, and you can just wait until they're done or message them if you need to. The soft phone can also be used to text message people outside of the organization. It's pretty simple. You would just type in the phone number that you want to text here, press the little chat bubble icon, and then we're going to send a text. Once that person gets it and responds back, that response will then show up in the screen here. And then you can carry on your text dialogue that way. One thing worth noting is that when you log out of the soft phone, the history for your text conversations will go away. This is only going to show any live transactions that occur during the time upon which you're logged into the soft phone. So that's it for the RingRx soft phone. Again, this is a web-based service, so there's no need to install applications. And since it is web-based, it is based on your browser's permissions. So as we mentioned earlier, remember, you have to make sure to allow your microphone access uh, from the web browser. If not, people won't be able to hear you, and in turn, you won't be able to make any calls.